in the flagship open. Walter Ray Williams Jr. on the left and Mike Shady. Well, Mike Shady has won one tournament in his career and uh, defeated one of the great ones, Park Barlin, so he should not mm -hmm. be intimidated by Walter Ray Williams Jr., who admittedly was a little bit confused going out here. It would behoove Shady to nail him down early, though. Good start. A little clinic by Walter Ray here as you see him leave a 10 pin on his first shot. When the lanes are tough you, and the ball is somewhat unpredictable, straighten the shot out, keep it in play. A real good start for Walter Ray. Despite a strike, he hit the pocket. Should I say despite not striking, hit the pocket. Okay. Now we've seen Walter weeks and weeks when the lanes, what we call open up on the tour, take advantage of the big hook he can play. When the break is dependable and there's a nice groove to the pocket, by all means hook it so you maximize your carry. When you're not sure, straighten it out. That's the attack he's taking today. Shady on the right lane. Strike up, shooting in the second. He leaves. All right, now to Bob Learn Jr., 300 and a 282 average a year ago. Robert? I'm with George Branham. Uh, George, I think you bowled great out there. It looks so critical out there, trying to make good shots. Uh, first arena finals, did that, did that have any uh, bearing? A little bit. This is pretty awesome. It's kind of overwhelming, but. Uh, I think uh, after that fourth frame, I got a little soft with the ball and went high and really didn't realize it until it was a little too late and then I punched out, but it was too late then. Well, you're a great performer, George. Uh, you know, I think yes. the outside angle does have the advantage today. We'll have to see what happens. All right, thanks, Bob and George. Uh, three in a row for Shady. Walter Ray's up. Right. Strike working. The full right. approach by Walter Ray, 17 feet, the approach. The lane, 60 feet. Pins three pounds, six ounce. Come on, get up there, come on. Yeah. Oh, he floats with the channel, though. Well, I think Walter Ray's making a statement. Uh, more or less this year, he's in the last 16 tournaments, he's made the championship finals, Chris, 10 times. And he's starting to step in that category of the Dick Webbers, uh, the, the Don Carters, the Mark Ross, the Earl Anthony's. That's a very elite air, and I'll tell you what, another year or two, you have to mention his name in the five all-time greats. Good break there, he pulls the shot. Now if he's playing the big hook, he'd have probably had a 4-6 split. He breaks the 4-7 down, has a relatively easy spare, the seven pin. Paige Pennington, Walter Ray's wife. Jazz band plays us into a break here in Erie, Pennsylvania. There they are, Jeff Lute, the director. Tim Chris. We've seen it so often, Chris, and it's happened to George Branham. He had a good analysis of his own game when he lost that last match. He just he decelerates and gets soft and gets very protective, and the ball will not hold. There's no hold in the center of the lane mm -hmm. on the PBA Tour. You must keep that arm swing acceleration going or you pay a penalty. Okay, again, Bob Learn Jr. Well, Tim, you both great all week, tournament leader. Uh, the lanes look like they're starting to calm down a little bit from inside. It looks like the guys outside are bowling good, but you've created something no one's had all week. How do you feel? Uh, well, I'm going to take my practice shots and see what it looks like. Uh, I think I'm probably going to try to play a little bit straighter than what I did all week. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll go back to where I played them all week uh, earlier. I think that's a great move, moving a little bit farther right, squaring up, staying out of trouble. I think you do a fine job. Good luck. Thank you. 
All of a sudden, Mike Shady has taken the same profile that George Branham did. George had that last match against him under control, and all of a sudden started aiming, fell asleep for four frames, and let Shady back in the match. The same thing is happening today. As you see the graphic, the pin difference this year, 73.5 pins a game. There's a little bit different lane condition out there than last year. But it's still win or lose. Score is only relative. <laughs> The game where you can't recover from mistakes. Boy, you're so right you about that. You can in golf, but you can't here. Yes! Tomorrow night on ABC starts with an hour where your family stars in America's funniest home videos, then a special Sunday night edition of Primetime Live, and the world television premiere of When Secrets Kill, based on the best-selling book and starring Gregory Harrison. That's tomorrow night on ABC. I look for Walter Ray to go full throttle on this shot. One, baby, yes! That wireless microphone is... Well, he's showing his match game experience, Chris. Uh, the other mm -hmm. players had... Uh, guys in that position and they get tentative. Walter Ray snaps it as hard as he can. That was his strongest shot, most determined shot of the match. Let's see how Shady responds. He trails by 17. Yeah, the spare working. Now if you can just say high score. I would say Shady has a chance to bowl a higher score. He's playing the lanes a little bit more than Walter Ray. Walter Ray's trying to overpower him with a straight shot. So over a period of time, Shady would shoot the higher scores, but in a short run to the finish line, five frames, anybody can win. A two. Shady just seems to have struggled. You know, if you're not out on the tour full time, bowling like these guys do, and he used nine different balls this week, sooner or later it's going to catch up with you. I'm not saying he's out of shape, but it's very difficult to beat the top pros when you're just doing it part time bowling league at home. He's got the experience, but he's not used to the tour prep. <laughs> Popular Pittsburgh Steeler running back, Jerome Pettis. As part of the festivities this week, bowling in the Pro-Am. He bowled him over in football, too, didn't he? 